It's an odd jumbled up sort of day. Grey, then blue, then a jumble of jostling silver-edged grey clouds and flat blue sky. The sun does its best, dodging in and out of the confusion, but the temperature dips and rises. It is the season of long grasses on the clifftop and various ne'er-do-wells hiding in the bushes with all sorts of nefarious intents. <laughs> Let's go in and have a cup of coffee before somebody asks us what the time is. <laughs> I'm Peter John Cooper. Today's tale from the clifftop originated with a bit of banter I had with a couple of our residents on the West Cliff. It is performed by the full acting strength of the West Cliff Theatre Company. And it's called Waiting for Three O'Clock. Oi! Oi! Hang on! Can't stop. Pitiful rush. Jogging. You, you don't look as though you're jogging. <laughs> Wrong shoes. Spur the moment. Uh, you got to watch. Hey, no, no, no. Yes, you have. I can see it. No, 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 no way. <laughs> look. On your wrist. Your other wrist. Show me. I got a knife. Oh, you don't want to rob me. You want this. You're not having it. I don't want to rob you. I want to know what the time is. I've still got a knife, though. You do want to rob me. I want to know what the time is. I don't know. You are getting on my tits. Look at the bloody watch, then you can jog on. I don't know if it's going. What sort of watch you got there? It's a, it's a Rolex, I think. A Rolex? It says here, on the face, is that what you want? My Rolex? No, I want you to tell me the bloody time. Well, there's no need to threaten me. Look, forget the knife. Common courtesy, somebody asks you for the time, you tell them, don't you? And you ain't going to stab me? No, I ain't going to stab you. Now, what is it? The time? Yes. Well, it must be, say, quarter to three. Quarter to three? Ah, uh, yes. Real? Let me have a look. It's true. I've got a Rolex. No, but you haven't really looked at it. Well, no need to. Rolex, always right. And it says quarter to three, not three o'clock or later. No, it quite definitely says quarter to Let's see then. No, I might have to cut you. No, just take the bloody thing. No, I want you to keep it. I don't get it. You get to keep the watch. What do you know? No. Why are you asking me all this about the watch? I want to know what the time is. It's a quarter to three. Yeah, well, that's good. It is. If it's right. Oh, it's right. And you don't want to cut me? Well, no need. 
You promise me it's quarter to three? <laughs> and then you'll let me go? <laughs> right. Oh, on with, with the jogging. <laughs> I'd rather stay here for a bit. What? T till it, it's after three. You want me to go on holding you captive? Well, you've got the knife, ain't you? You can keep me here against my will and we can have a fag together. We can sit here together, smoke a fag until, say, after three, then go our separate ways. How do you know I've got a fag? I think you been up to naughties. Now, wait a minute. I reckon you've had it away from the shop on the corner with those fags. I reckon you want an alibi. What you talking about? For, say, three o'clock, or just after. They say anything. You say, I was here from quarter to three to, say, quarter past with my mate. And they'll say, can you prove it? And you'll say, he's got a Rolex. And they'll say, well, that's definite then. Well, say. Except, they'll say, your mate with the Rolex... What's his name? And where is he? And you say, oh, I don't know, he was just someone I was going to rob. I definitely was not going to rob you. And I definitely do not have any fags. But I can definitely say you was here at three o'clock waving your knife about. Look, forget the knife. Yeah, probably best. Don't look good as an alibi. Anyway, we was having a fag together. Old mates catching up from, say, quarter two to, say, quarter past. <laughs> and you think they'll believe you? Course they will. i got a Rolex. The most reliable watch in the world. Yeah. On the other hand, what if it don't say three o'clock when they looks at it? Well, then you change it. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. You was definitely here at three o'clock and couldn't be elsewhere doing whatever it might be you was doing. And they say, let me have a look at your Rolex, my man. By Jove. This here Rolex is a quarter of an hour fast. Or slow or something. Fancy that. I've never known a Rolex to be wrong. But in this case, when you say you were there at three o'clock, you were in fact not there till a quarter past. Yeah, I think I understand. Um, well, well, could we put it back a bit more then, a whole half hour yeah we could put it back till yesterday fortnight but they'll still work out by simple mathematics that we've changed it oh. no but they might go on to say your mate with the rolex where did he get that from i mean somebody like that how come he's got a rolex if he came into rightful possession of a Rolex, he would have swapped it out for drink or weed or something long ago. Let me have a look at that watch. No. Knife. All right. Here, yeah, it says quarter past. Uh, must be wrong then. How do you change it? I don't know. How come you don't know how to set the proper time on your rightfully acquired watch? Uh, I haven't had it long. When did you get it? Uh, can't recall. 
short term memory. Well, let's say you only had it about what quarter of an hour. Well, let's say it came into your possession about quarter of an hour ago at say three o'clock, and say you wanted someone to ask you the time. A respectable sort of person. Respectable, trustworthy, someone like me who would swear we were in hearty, amicable conversation here and having a smoke on the West Cliff from, say, quarter two till, say, quarter past. Um, strikes me. We both want the same thing. Do we? We both want it to be, say, quarter two, three. Well, those fags, say at about three o'clock, you put your hand across the counter whilst he's getting a packet of fags down for somebody else and you legs it pretty smartish round here. And I meet you coming the other way having just acquired a Rolex watch, which never goes wrong, but which we can both swear blind, we were nowhere near the scene of either incident. Yeah. But the Rolex isn't going to help us, is it? If we can't make it tell the right time, I mean, the wrong time, well, it's just going to draw attention that we knew it wasn't three o'clock. Well, best get rid of it then. Oh, you do want it. You are going to rob me. Hand it over. More trouble than it's worth. Here you are. Oi, what are you doing? Chucking it away. Oh, over the cliff edge. Now. All we got to do is to wait till after three o'clock. Till the heat dies down. Just one thing. How will we know when it's after three o'clock? Fag. Thanks. Well, thank you for listening to that tale from the cliff edge and an enormous thanks to all the members of the Westcliff Theatre Company. Well done, lads. I'm sure you'll improve with practice. Meanwhile, if you've been affected by any of the issues raised in this podcast, you might like to listen to our sister programme, Daylight Robbery for Beginners and How to Get Away with Murder for politicians. Thank you.